Okay, okay. Shh, I'm gonna do a little bit of video, okay? All right, my name is Toby Lankford, and I would like to take a few minutes to go over some of the work that we have done with the drone deploy and the RV jet with Pixhawk. Um, we've got Droid Planner 2 pulled up as well on the pad so that we can use it for uh, parameter writing and things. The drone deploy has some of the parameters on, but we're still working on this. Um, I want to demonstrate in just a few moments how easy it is to enable a map on drone deploy. You can see we have our home map up. We've got drone deploy pulled up and we've just got some more co-planning on here. In fact, I'm gonna go back and I'd like to show this is the drone deploy user interface. We can do ortho maps, we can do agriculture maps, we can do custom straight line photography or anything we'd like to do. And I've yet to use the one click map. But we're going to show how easy it is to set up a map for survey or search and rescue or all manners of reasons. We're going to call this the survey. Raspberry Pi Test 4. Our RV jet is outfitted with a Raspberry Pi camera and we'll just be doing this at our home map as we've said. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Start all over here. I accidentally right. we're just going to map a little bit of pit area here. You can see you just click four points, draw your shape of your area to map, and it's going to give us our waypoints automatically according to the wind. We have a 22 kilometer mile an hour wind coming out of the southwest. It estimates about a 2.2 minute duration to fly this map and 1.6 kilometers that it'll travel to do so. And we'll do this at 90 meters, which is around 300 feet above ground level. All right, but that shows how easy it is. And then we click prepare a flight. And what we'll see is we'll see our pre-flight checklist will let us know whether or not we're in manual mode that we have control of the drone so that if we arm it it doesn't try to take off it lets us know that it's calibrated the sensors at level our other fail safes that we've initiated or uh, that we put in place they are passed that they're in, they're ready to go we're showing eight satellites visible we have to have at least seven with the GPS on drone deploy and we have 19 waypoints in our mission. The start of our mission is 153 meters from the start of our, from our home location. Flight length is 1.57 kilometers. And because we're inside, we're getting some reflection. It's showing we're 5.18 meters from the drone location, but the drone's sitting right here. And our camera is ready to go. We've got a test battery for ground station battery, so we are low on our battery here. But what we can do is we can look at you can click a test photo. We've got this set at like one twelve hundred uh, 
or the 1200 ISO so it's going to show up dark in here but it is taking pictures meaning it is all connected all right and then we can look and we've got it right here a couple of missions that we can try to fly here a little bit later and see how our things doing here we got flight logs from a mission we've already flown we haven't had the map brought out yet but you can see you've got several different logs graph that we can look at airspeed ground speed and the altitude we can check our flight efficiency of our batteries so we can look at our amp draw versus our airspeed so we've got a pretty consistent amp draw of about 9 to 10 amps here when we're in mission. So we'd like to get those numbers down dramatically. And we're not showing cumulative mod yet. We're going to get that programmed in here. But we are showing our voltage. And hopefully we'll have our map later today so we can look at that. In fact, we can look at our camera roll real quick. Let's log data. Let's get the camera roll. And we can see the pictures that we've taken with the Raspberry Pi camera in mission. This basically gets massaged and then thrown through. Agrisoft software with the EXIF data and it'll put together a map. Here's a pretty decent picture over the house. Here's the labs our solar, solar water heat on the house, rainwater catchment, our animal barns here. All right, well, let's look at, let's take a look at the RV jet itself. Things that we're working on, we've got a uh, parachute right here. We've got a screwdriver in here for safety so it doesn't pop while we're when we're starting it. For some reason, the servo goes over into the open position, and I need to examine that and see why it's doing that. But it does that while it's start booting up, so we do this for safety. We've got a custom harness we've built here. We're using size one swivel hooks. Those are probably a little large. I probably made my ropes a little large here. These are our, our paracord. Um, so it's really pretty cool. Um, this all comes back here. It'll get taped down so that it doesn't flop during flight. Um, we kind of stay down there for aerodynamics But we'll do a test here. We've done one test. This will be our second test of the parachute system Let me pull the camera back. So maybe this time we can actually capture the parachute all the way in air All right, let's try this out The reality is we come in motor would stop and about a third of a second later you would pop the parachute just like that. 